In this video, I'll cover creating a reoccurring work order or a grouped series of appointments that has an initial appointment with some different information on it. So first, create a work order. Select the customer you are creating the work order for and their location if there are multiple locations. From there, you can select the reoccurring for this, we'll say it's a quarterly residential service. Set the unit price for the reoccurring price, even if your initial service is a little bit different. You can select whether that is taxable, whether there is a discount, and or if you would like to view or hide pricing information on the work order. Next, go to scheduling. Pick the technician or multiple technicians and then change your frequency to quarterly. From this, pick the week during that quarter that you will be servicing and the day. When you are selecting when this appointment ends, it can be after a fixed number of visits, after a specific date, or it can go on forever. And the first service date is what it will schedule for the very first appointment, and then you can set the reoccurring for everything other than outside of that first date. Set the appointment time, assign commissions, add in instructions, and include any PDF documents that will be sh displayed each time the quarterly service is scheduled. And hit save. Mm -hmm. So now I have a new appointment and when I go to the location I can see that my quarterly residential service that I set up with tax is here and I can view all of my appointments for the next year here. If I would like to edit the first appointment, I can hit View or Edit. I can add a line item. And we'll see if I have something that says Initial Service. I don't in here. So some companies choose to create a service that is Initial Service. For now, I'll add in a line item that is just other and initial service, an additional cost of, we'll say, $75, and we'll call this an initial service treatment and inspection. And that is also taxable, and I will go ahead and hit save. So in my list, when I go back to view the work orders, I now have a different price for my initial service and then every other reoccurring service will have the set price. The other way to set up reoccurring work with an initial service is to create a work order that is a one-time. And so you can call it one-time service. Oh, I don't have one-time or initial neither of those so for now I'll just select other and we'll say initial inspection and service and we'll give that a $150 price we'll consider that taxable as well the scheduling is just going to be one time we'll change the technician and from there all the other data is the same we'll add commission and we'll add the percent plus notes and again the PDF form. So the PDF form this will only show up on one service just the initial service since we're doing one time so for this one we'll do a contract and hit save. To set up the remainder mm -hmm. I set up a new work order and this one will be the quarterly We'll set up the service cost as 75 hit the taxable button, and this scheduling again will be same tech, quarterly, 
quarterly frequency instead of one time. We'll say the first Monday ends never. However, we're not going to do March because March is our first. We're going to count out one, two, three. We've got June. And our first service will be June 1st. And I hit, oh, I can go through my commissions, add commission, notes, test notes. And again, PDF forms, we'll say this one gets the notice. And hit save. So those are the different options that you have to create initial services and reoccurring services. Just to review, we have the residential service that has everything grouped together and we have the residential service that is separated. When I group everything together I will see everything on one grouped service. When I don't I'll have one one-time initial and the remaining quarterly.